Vibrant Lawns, what's going on? It's Matt again. Uh, this is the very next day after I put up my review or my partial review of the Cub Cadet Pro X 600 that I have here. After going over and doing that video, I noticed it seemed very negative, the small things I had to say about it. And there's a lot of positive things on this mower that I'd, I'd like to go through. I wanted to get this information out as soon as I could so that you guys that are looking and, and on the market for a new standard or something for your company, that you will be able to make a decision. Um, you'll have options. So I kind of want to take something back in the partial review I did yesterday on the Cub Cadet. It had been sitting for three or four months and a, a cold startup like that, you have to expect those things. So I was a little bit harsh on that. I just expected it to kind of fire up since it's been in the shop. Some people are, are sponsored or given one of these units. I'm just a little guy, so I'm not sponsored by anybody or by Cub Cadet. Uh, this is just gonna be my raw thoughts from 25 years of experience in the lawn industry. I've got quite a bit of experience with different stand-on mowers, ZTRs, walk-behinds, and things like that. So. Um, hopefully this review will help you out and again a lot of things that might bug me I'm a little nitpicky here and there they might not bug you but this is my review all right guys moment of truth moment of truth let's go ahead and see if this thing starts right up striping a little bit it's uh, the, the grass is quite dead here so I lowered it down to three inches and it cut quite a bit off so just just showing you the mower in action this is the 48 inch Cub Cadet their first standard commercial mower I said 48 inch heavy duty very heavy duty 24 inch tires those 24 inch tires are awesome for, I mean, if you need to hop a curb, hold a hill, they're, they're great. All right, now there's the platform. Now there's the, yeah, wide. Those 24 inch tires are on that. Here's a back easily gotten off. You can access in there. This of course lifts up, as I said, so you can get to that hydraulic tank if you need to or anything in there. And again, look at these just massive tires. 24 inch, 
when most standers are about 20 inch tires 20 yeah 20 inch tires is what they typically are so there's that chute that stays open if you want it to it's pretty cool there you got the official 48 sticker on there now these front caster wheels they are actually i mean here's my hand so you can kind of see they are actually very very big this whole front system is, is, is huge and this right here is just a solid a solid bar so all around all around a very solid mower i had to move behind the shop because the sun was right in my eyes and it, it didn't look great so it's it's colder back here and it's windy through here so i apologize up front if it's hard to hear but i'm gonna go through this with you guys so yesterday i went over a couple of different things uh one of them being the the cool little protective plate they put down here um to save that side deck typically that left side gets um gets tore up quite a bit uh, especially if you have crews with multiple people that are learning um so that that little plastic that little plastic plate right here is actually pretty cool other, other things that we did go through yesterday was back here the hydraulic tank is plastic and appears to be leaking some oil um i haven't checked the lid in the last couple times so i need to do that but that was something it started i think one of the first times i ever used this mower uh i saw that and I was kind of confused and checked the cap and it was on there fine. So it might be a simple fix. We've got the plastic hydraulic tank, which I didn't quite like, but I'm not sure why I didn't quite like it. Um, it just, I, I think, I think of metal and I think if something, if a tree, a tree or anything pokes that, um, I mean, obviously you had a pretty bad accident if that took place, but I've seen some pretty crazy things happen. And so, it looks like it's a repairable tank if it does get cracked or anything like that. That being said, plastic tank, yeah, I'm not a fan of, but it's not a make or break it uh, item for me. Another thing is look how accessible the belts are to get to down here. Now, another thing with that is that <clears throat> There's not much. So I like the fact that you can get to your belts if you need to down here, but so can everything else. And so, I don't know. I, I kind of like having that uh, shell over my, my spindles and belt pulley systems. Uh, anything can get in there. A pine cone could, can get in there and just pop your belt off. I've had that happen. It's got them huge arms that come out. So yes, the 48 inch model, it has got a 22 horsepower Kawasaki on it. Of course, it's got the adjustable deck, cup holder and phone or trash holder, whatever you want. It's got large tires, three different settings on weight and, and uh, suspension right there for the ride. Also three different settings for how high that goes. Gas tank with a visible with a visible uh, gas gauge, which is great because sometimes when you're, you're like, you sometimes on, on a lot of these standards, you have to kind of lean over and see how much. You can easily see it from standing on it and looking down. So, okay, one of the, one of the cool features I did like about this is the size of the tires. These tires are massive. They are 24 inch tires. Sometimes when you get a bigger tire, you get a thinner tire. These ones are, 24 inches and also very thick so it does hold a hill really well i like the big tires i like the pad right here i like the fact that it's got these curves so when you're actually when you're actually standing on it it cut you kind of feel secure as if you, i mean you're not going to fall off it does have does have three different settings here so 
So if you want this pad to lower or raise, you can have your own setting that you like and kind of put it there. And once you take this off, you do have access to that hydraulic tank back there. Another cool feature that I did like about it is this right here. You got one, two, three. And this is for the spring suspension for where you stand. It's really awesome how they did this. You can put it on, on three, which is the heaviest. That's not for me, obviously. But three for the heaviest. One, if you put it, if you put it on one, you're barely going to have any suspension there and you're going to feel bumps a lot more. But with one, with two, two mainly, I like two mainly because you get a nice even ride. With three, it almost seems a little stiff it's for a little bit heavier people. And so that's cool that they made that adjustable. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of times this feature right down here, um, there is no features to it. A lot of times it's just there. And so that's cool that they put some extra thought into that. Okay guys, so you can actually see just by the pure design of this, they really beefed this up a lot. And this is a lot thicker. These arms are a lot thicker than other ones out on the market. Of course, they've got the guard here. That's, uh, that's starting to become standard with these standards, standard with the standards. But um, let's go ahead and talk about the height adju adjustment here. Now, this is a cool system that they have in place. I actually lean towards fixed decks. I love fixed decks. I had issues back in the day with bouncing decks when they were on chains, held by chains. And uh, I just, I liked fixed decks. I, I usually never scalped anything with a, a fixed deck, whether it be a 61 inch or a 48 inch. Um, never really had a, an, an issue with a fixed deck. So the deck being adjustable has just so many advantages to it. Uh, it's not every yard that you get on is going to take the same. M mainly that's, that's what it kind of was. But some yards might just grow, uh, might be a lot thicker than, than others, and they might need to be raised half an inch to an, an inch. You never know. What is really cool about that lever here, and that the technology they put into it is when you when you push down. So when you do push down on this lever, it actually releases that hook and rests right there. And now there's no bouncing of the deck. They stopped using chains to hold decks in, in place. And so they've got um, a real solid system down here that is actually holding this deck um, as firm as, as possible. So if you do go over a bump or, or anything like that, you're not gonna ruin your customer's yard and they have to come back and spread seed and pay for things you don't need to pay for. So. I do like that about this mower. So to lift this back up is very easy. Just push it in and you're there. Now at the conventions and conferences, they would actually have people stand on their deck and then they'd raise and lower them. Um, it's pretty impressive uh, just knowing that it can lift it with such ease and they must have put some some very heavy duty springs and 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 things in there to make that work that way i'm cold but i think it's important to know what you're getting into with a new with a new commercial mower this is one of their first this is their first commercial standard but i wanted to go ahead and let you guys know what i think about it personally as well just having been around mowers most of my life okay so what did we go over we went over 24 inch tires as opposed to 20 inch tires. We've got the, we got the, the nice plastic plate down here, larger front tires. These arms stick out a little bit far. And that was one of my complaints on my first review, uh, my partial first review, was that this mower weighs about 200 pounds more than my right stander and also is about, it takes up about a foot more in the trailer. So what that means is that I, I could probably get two right standers in my trailer. I don't think that I could get two of these in my trailer. 
So yeah, it's gonna take a lot more more space. Not a lot, but it's gonna take a little more space in your trailer if you're limited on space. If you're limited on space, it's gonna take it's gonna take more. So we talked about the gas tank being on the left side here. Now I do know that a lot of mowers right now have the gas tank on the left side. I understand that. I felt a little dumb saying that yesterday. Duh. I do have an issue with it, especially on the 48 inch model. If you're, if you've got the 54 inch model of this, uh, well, we'll talk about that in a second, but if you have the 54 inch model of this, you don't really have to worry about getting as close to things and, and you have a deck that sticks out farther than the tires. So you're not really going to be scraping up this, which is very close to where the tires are. If you're like me, you like to get as close as you can to things sometimes just so that you don't have to weed eat as much and it saves time. That's the whole point. And so you do see all those scratches and things that it's kind of gotten into just because look how close those tires are to the deck. I wanted a 48 inch because a lot of the newer gates around here, if you do have a back gate, they'll make them at least 48 inches wide. So I know that a lot of people will disagree with me on that, but I've experienced uh, a company that only buys 48 inch mowers and they can get inside backyards and front, uh, obviously front yards. But that's one reason why I wanted to get the 48. I, I got away from the 52 inch stander because I wanted to get a 48 inch, even though this was the only stander that they actually had left at the shop and it was a 48 inch, I actually was looking for a 48 inch. Now, one thing that I'm very, very passionate about, I love, I've loved since I was 12, was striping a lawn. I, I noticed it when, uh, when I was little, when I was younger, and I just, I love striping lawns and it, and it makes me feel like I'm doing, I learned something and I'm doing a, uh, something that somebody can look at and appreciate. The one thing with this machine particularly, I had a couple of people disagree with me on this, um, but then they came and looked at it themselves and they said, okay, yeah, it makes a little sense. On a 48 inch right stander, or typically any other standard, you're gonna have you're gonna have a little bit of overlap in the deck, not much. A 52 inch gives you a lot more, you know, room for error there. But a 48 inch, you really know you have to know where your deck's at. You have to know where your tires are, are at to make really good stripes. And one of the issues with this mower was that I was most disappointed in was I went to go stripe with it, and I felt myself on the very edge of that deck trying to cut as much as I can and I noticed that I, I was running over my my other pass marks with the tire and I, I looked down and I, and I saw if you can see this right where the tire is at like right where the tire ends is basically where the deck ends as well so that is very difficult to make uh, see if you can see this one as well I'm not sure if you can see it, but if you can see the tire and the deck, the tire and the deck are almost flush with each other. So if you know how to stripe and know what I'm talking about, that becomes really difficult to create a full stripe coming back and forth. With the, with the 54 inch that they have, I heard that it stripes amazing because Obviously, it has the overlapping deck on both sides and you have no problem and you have a huge margin for error there um, I do believe I think that there is a way that I'm gonna be able to stripe with this But it's gonna come down to like centimeters. I believe maybe millimeters, but that was a huge thing for me Another feature that is cool is the flap right here the material that it's made of is so strong and I love the fact that it just sits right up there. It sits up there. You can put either you put it down or not. You don't have to worry about bungee cords. But this material is not like a lot of other standards um, and commercial mowers. This looks like it's going to last a very long time, and it's very thick. And uh, another thing here, batteries actually run underneath this. I think cup holders are hilarious to me. Um, I used to use cup holders when I did large properties like apartment complexes for bottled water or something like that. Uh, typically I just leave my water in the car. So uh, it's it's a cool feature. You could even throw your phone in there and, and actually put your trash in here, or put some trash in there and then put your phone in there if you want. Um, 
there's actually, I just noticed this. There's a little, there's a little side holder there for, well, phone or if you guys have business cards or whatever you guys want to put in there. This was kind of cool on this. This is a cool feature or actually this is kind of a cool uh, build. So they, they did some extra thinking when they went and built this platform right here. This is right here up front, everything. So a lot of standards, they'll put their choke kind of in the middle here, uh, different things in the middle. But this was really, I mean, I, what's funny is this took, you know, a little bit to get used to, but having this to where you can just push it up right here, right on the edge, uh, it right, you know, you don't have to reach your fingers in here or around. Everything you need is right up here. So, yeah, get your, your blades, choke, obviously your throttle, rev, rev. Everything seems to be very accessible. The parking brake, easy to get to right there one thing one thing with this mower is you gotta you gotta put this up every time you step off the mower whether you shut the blades off or not but another thing that is really cool so this all being very accessible makes things a lot easier right here i i, I love the grips where they are they're perfect for for your hands um there's not I, I was never really too big of a fan of the of the two two handles. I never ever really used the back one to re reverse. I always just really used one set of handles. So uh, to me, this is like home. If you have been in the industry for a while and you've seen these mowers come go from brand new to being used a little bit, jostled around, you'll notice one one of your your hydros is maybe pulling one way or the other. Typically with a standard, there'd be a rod that's attached to this that you would have to adjust and spin and count and I've done all that. What's cool is they have these two nuts, a bolt and a nut here, kind of locking that in place there. They have a one on each side. Now, what that does is, is if you notice, if you put, go forward and you notice that it's dragging or pulling one way or another, if it's going left, or right you can simply just adjust that right here and just fine-tune it to where you don't have to you don't have to remove the back cover or the or anything you don't have to get in there you don't have to take anything off any parts that you might drop so let's talk let's talk cut quality uh, the cut quality is is very good I I mean it's a new mower uh, it's got sharpened blades got new blades so the cut the cut quality itself is good it doesn't really leave any stragglers when i bought this machine i had brand new right standards within a year old that i also got to compare it to the right standards seems to just blow a lot more grass out of the chute just way further and just to get that grass out of there, the, the right standards just seem to have more, the, the, the right suction and the right just force to get the, any grass underneath the deck out. And that was one thing I noticed about this is I cut a yard one day that was just a little bit thicker. It, I mean, it, would, uh, it wouldn't have been any issue for the right standard at all. Well, one, one thing I did notice about this one was that when I was cutting, it was only it was shooting grass only it was it was shooting grass only about maybe two or three feet out and that and it was clumpy grass and i thought that was just a fluke but then i had a couple more lawns i did if they weren't if you weren't just cutting a couple of inches off two three inches off if there was if there was any height to it at all this would not shoot the grass as far as the right stander Therefore, I had a lot more clumping situations, and uh, we're gonna come come find out in spring if that's gonna be an issue with a lot more wet grass and rain and things like that. So I will say this: I think the 54-inch model of this comes with a like 25 horsepower motor, and I was almost a I was upset that the 22 horsepower came with the 48. This is why I'm doing a review on the 48-inch, is that. Most likely, you're going to get a smaller motor. You're going to get the 22 horsepower, 
I did not talk about price point with this mower yet because I wanted to save that to the end. Actually, I forgot until now. Make sure you find a good dealer that, that respects you and that, that really tries to help you. A good dealer is worth his weight in gold. I will say that. So find yourself a good dealer. And that's where a lot, I mean, a lot of people I know, if there's a Skag dealer near them, then that's what they use. Right stander, I mean, grasshopper, gravely, whatever dealer is near them and they like, and that, and then they're, you know, that's usually who they use. So with Cub Cadet, make sure you find a dealer that respects you because I had an experience that I didn't quite like. And it didn't quite, I, I felt very uneasy leaving after I bought this machine. So let's go over price for a second. I was told that I was getting a price that nobody else would get. It was the end of the, end of the season. They were going to take this much off of it. It was going to make it $7,200. Now, that's thousands less than what all the other brands I've been mentioning. That's thousands less than that than them. And, I, and, I, and I've heard good reviews on this mower. So it's also got a good warranty. I think it was three-year warranty. I believe three or five. It was a good, it's a good warranty on this mower. So I was told $7,200 out the door or $7,200. And I was like, I was, I was special to be getting that. Well, a friend of mine, he doesn't know, a friend of mine owns a lawn care service and he had told him the same thing a couple of months earlier. That a special deal just for you. And so, you know, that's sales. I've been in sales. I, I get it. But at the same time, it's kind of like, I, I, I even said, I was like, oh, you told my friend that it was 7,200 a couple months ago. So I don't know if it was ever since that comment, I, was, I joke around a little bit. And so I don't know if that started anything with that dealer, but it, it just, I got a weird vibe from, from him after that. First off, when I came asking about the mower, he didn't know what year it was, what, what model year it was. Okay, people make mistakes, that's fine. Then when I bought it, I uh, said he didn't have the owner's manual and all the special stuff that comes with it when you buy almost the $7,500 mower. I was like, can I please get a, an, like, an owner's manual? He, so instead of getting an owner's manual, he didn't have an owner's manual, he said that it was ruined. He wanted to print me off one and me pick it up the next day. And there's something about spending that much money. You want to have the, the package, it come, the, the package, the warranty. The, you want to have, you don't want to have something printed off after you spend almost $7,500. So um, I just, you know, it seemed like that he was upset the fact that I asked for an actual uh, owner's manual, you know, but spending that much money, I want to, I want to have that. I don't want somebody printing off something that I could print off online myself. Going back into this dealer, if I do have an issue or anything, it's going to be awkward. I'm just going to leave it at that with, with this dealer. It's, we'll see how our relationship goes from here on, but yeah, it's awkward. But pick a dealer that you like, that you get along with, that's honest with you. All right. So that is my official review of the Cub Cadet. Pro X 600, 648. If you guys have any questions about this that maybe I didn't cover, go ahead, put them in the comments below. 